Okay. Again, we're going to go, uh, you know, frame by frame on some of the images, but the first presentation is just regular liquids like water. And as we play here, so the first thing that I notice is that there's a delay in the trigger, and I'd have to look at the old exam to see if that's consistent, but it's probably new since the treatment. Uh, but by the time the liquid hits this point here, which is right at the entrance to the esophagus, the swallow mechanism should begin, and it hasn't just yet. By treatment, you mean surgery? Uh, the radiation. Right, okay. Radiation, right? That, that's kind of dulled, probably dulled the senses here. Okay. So with that delay, a little bit of that liquid starts spilling forward, and the reason for that is because the airway hasn't yet closed. Um, and the airway doesn't really fully close in terms of the what we call the vestibule, the uh, almost like the lanai to a home, right? The door is just below, and that's staying closed, and that's why that bit of liquid hasn't fallen. But it's in the lanai, it's in the vestibule, and the reason for that is, again, the airway isn't quite closing, and there's also that delay in the trigger. So you see some residuals here. This is liquid that is just kind of sitting and waiting, and if the vocal cords were to relax, that, were to dro that, that would drop down, okay? But otherwise, you clear everything through the pharynx pretty well, Eventually, you feel that. Um, and again, I say dulled sensation because by the time that liquid hits that point there, um, in, a, in a system where, where everything is normal, quote unquote, you would trigger a throat clear or a cough right away because the body detects that as a foreign, you know, something foreign in that region. But you don't detect it right away. Eventually, you feel it and you start to clear your throat. Um, and your cough and your throat clear is quite effective. Uh, but it does take maybe a couple of tries on some occasions. You still see that, that marking there? The liquid is starting to consolidate at the bottom here. And again, if it doesn't clear out, gravity will eventually bring it down. But every time you swallow, food and liquid are going down just fine. Okay. Yep, go ahead. All right. So let's move on to the next image, which is the second trial with the liquids. Again, we'll go frame by frame. And on this instance here, we don't have that immediate penetration, but there's still some residuals in the back, okay? And that's why periodically through the exam, I, I ask you, go ahead and clear your throat. Clear your throat and swallow again. And that's just to make sure that none of those residuals fall any, any, any further and actually fall below the vocal cords because that, that's the technical definition of aspiration. All right, so here, um, you know, we're doing a little bit of applesauce. And no issues with any of the applesauce as the, as the, as the uh, material gets denser. There's not that risk of it going the wrong way, but the risk of you know, more residue in the throat actually increases. And so we're seeing that there. You sense it, you know, and you, you will either clear your throat or continue to swallow or use that sip of liquid to help rinse it down. So again, you've swallowed a couple of times now and there's still residue here. Uh, you know, part of that is because you're not getting a good compression to the back the epiglottis, was, which is that cartilage here that flips down, isn't really flipping down, and these are all effects of the, uh, of the radiation. So the okay. radiation is keeping me from being able to compress that region? Sure. It's yeah. not the removal of liquid from the surgery? Removal of the tissue, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, that, that certainly can contribute to it, right? Okay. So if you have less bulk in that area, that could create some of that gap that you're experiencing Because I there. stopped radiation in January, but three months later I had a radical tonsillectomy and she took mm -hmm. a lot of tissue out of my sure. throat. So. And the radiation, unfortunately, is something that you will see effects, negative effects from, uh, in terms of uh, effects on the normal musculature, yep. y you know, months and years down the road. Right, right, yep. So it's not uncommon to see that. Okay. Okay. Um, but right now, again, you're compensating really well, but how do you do that? You have to swallow multiple times per, per bite and sip. Yep. You have to alternate those liquids and solids. There's, there's a lot of extra work to make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we're into the mixed fruit. So soft fruit, fruit mixed with some liquid. And again, kind of similar outcomes here. You know, the chewing is complete. I think I swallowed this without liquid, and that's tough for me to do. Yeah. Initially, yeah. And, and, but again, this, this had that sort of fluid base to it. Um, yep. But again, you see you know, that there is a fair amount of residue that stays behind. Um, you feel it, you kind of hack, you know, hack a little bit, but you swallow again, you clear your throat. Uh, and so we're now at three swallows. It's going to be at least four or five before you, you, you fully clear that out. Here's the sip of liquid to kind of rinse that. 
And again, in this instance, there, there's no penetration, which is good, considering that you're not really closing that airway super tight. Um, but it does take, it, we're on, you know, swallow six. And then right there, you'll see it, but the liquid does slip in again, and it's starting to drip down. And again, it's compressed. You clear your throat a little bit there. You see it push out. There's still some residue there. You have a decent shot of my airway here. Is that my airway in the front so, portion? So right here. Yeah, that, got that's it. The, that's the trachea, right? Thought that's so. the windpipe. Okay. And so it's that repeated pattern of swallowing multiple times, clearing your throat a couple times, swallowing again, and that's just the theme. Yep. And especially when you're drinking liquids. Um, the, mul the swallowing multiple times with a lot of effort, that's with solid food, but with the liquids, that intermittent throat clear and then re-swallow is going to be necessary. That's typical for me. I mean, even eating a meal, mm -hmm. I will go through that process. Sure. I'll swallow four to sure. seven times. Sure. And maybe two sips of water with yeah. every bite of food. Yeah. So. And this confirms the, you know, the efficacy, the effectiveness of that, right? Yep. Um, that you, you definitely need to do that um, you know, from a safety standpoint. And so you're doing a really good job of protecting the airway from to keep, you know, anything that penetrates from going down that last, you know, uh, barrier. Um, the only instance, so we've, you know, we've gone through regular solids at this point. And again, as the food gets thicker, as you as you go into food, right, then then the residue increases. Now, when we did the pill, which is this right here, you're going to notice the liquid gets pretty deep almost instantly, and that's because of the volume that you took and then the repeated presentation. So right now your vocal cords are closed tightly and that liquid is sitting there right at bay. But the moment that those vocal cords relax just a little bit, some of that liquid is gonna drop unless you clear it out. You did a pretty good job there clearing it out, probably with just with the compression of the swallow. But again, that liquid just keeps coming in, keeps coming in. Pill goes down, but look at the volume of liquid that's just still hanging. And then right there, that little, that little speckle there and that greater globule there, that's, that's a little bit of liquid that you just aspirated, okay? Now, it's momentary aspiration because with the compression of the swallow and a throat clear, that comes back out. And so, you know, you have to exercise extra caution with pills, and I might even suggest when you take your pain meds, rather than taking them with something to drink, consider putting the pills whole with a dollop of applesauce, yogurt, pudding, something like that instead. As those items or those uh, uh, consistencies are less likely to, you know, try to go the wrong way, sort of stay more contained, travel more in unison, right? A more cohesive unit. Okay. And, and reduce that risk of that potential aspiration. Okay. Right? Um, and, and so outside of that, you know, after a couple of throat clears and re-swallows, your throat looks pretty good. You know, it looks pretty clean. And so um, what I would recommend is kind of keep doing what you're doing, following those same recommendations. Multiple dry, strong, what we call effortful swallows between your bites and your sips. Um, with your sips of liquids, you're going to want to intermittently, so every two to three sips, you're going to want to clear your throat and then swallow again multiple times. With the medications, consider using, keeping them whole, but putting them with a scoop of, you know, something that you don't have to chew, but you can swallow, you know, pudding, applesauce, yogurt, those are the most common things. I've had patients that will use ice cream as well, uh, and then swallow it that way. Because I'm only taking a half pill right now. That's it. Yeah. And, and a smaller and that, pill, too. And with that half pill, you can imagine you're taking this huge, you know, mouthful of liquid, yep. kind of throwing your back, your head back a little bit, yep. and then you're following up with multiple sips, and that just repeated, you know, presentation is what can eventually cause that little, you know, momentary uh, episode of aspiration, okay. right? All right. Um, or at minimum, just some deep, deep penetration that if it doesn't clear out fully, eventually will become aspiration, right? Okay. And so that kind of places you at what I feel is an unnecessary risk if you took it with something like yogurt, applesauce, pudding, ice cream, something where it would stay more, you know, more uh, cohesive. Um, but if you do take it with ice cream, just make sure you clear your throat because that does, you know, dissolve, well, melt down into a, a thin liquid as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions? Any other questions? Any other thoughts? No, no. So, so all things considered, you know, the study, you know, there's, there's definitely some, some deficits here, some mild deficits. Uh, compared to the last study, you know, there's some increase in the deficits, but it's still very functional. Without any significant diet modifications, use of strategies, you know, mitigates the risk really well. Okay. okay. Any questions, man? 
No questions? No, I think I'm good. Okay.